Hey guys, Matthews Gaming Zone here. Now today we will be talking about the patch notes for Star Wars Battlefront. First, let's start off with the heroes. So we've seen a change for all hero stun will be active for two seconds after a hero has been stunned. Once this will not apply to f to specific stuns like force choke and force push, so you won't be stunned as a hero off often and the best fix is the lando glitch so we won't have to worry about those lando noobs anymore which is good <laughs> and if you and um if you guys are also wondering wondering if this will be the last uh major uh, update for ps4 i mean why am i saying ps4 star wars battlefront uh it is not confirmed but this is speculation right here um, I think that it might be the last major up update uh, for Star Wars Battlefront. Well, that's just speculation. Um, but if there is more updates and stuff, like if they add a new map, even though they're most likely not, um, that would be great. And because they're just probably focusing on Battlefront 2 right now and stuff like that. Um, now, Bosk has been nerfed, so they reduced the micro grenade radius. From 3 to 2.5 meters. Now Chewbacca has seen an increased roar charge time from 28 to 35 seconds. And decreased main projectile explosive damage. So Chewbacca has seen a slight nerf. He's probably still going to be overpowered still. That's what I think, but who knows. He might not. Um, depends how you play with him too, but... Yeah, uh, but now Darth Vader can now use a saber throw and heavy strike when force cho choking. So his multitasking abilities increase more. And they increase his trait radius from 10 to 15. And the trait no longer affects enemies. So that bug for Darth Vader is gone now. Princess Leia... Princess Leia's trait radius has been decreased from 8 to 13 meters. And stormtroopers with back to bomb can now be killed instantly with Trooper Bane. And Director Krennic has seen an increased trait radius from 10 to 12 meters. Armor Breaker is applying armor reduction after the damage is done. So Jen Urso has a decreased pistol damage from 35 to 69. That's a very big buff. <laughs> they also increased the pistol start fall off damage from 40 to 50. They also decreased the rifle configuration heat per bullet. Now look, Skywalker has seen a trait speed uh, decrease from 80% to 70%. And shield deflection can now block Krennic's armor breaker ability. And Lando, he obviously got the uh, glitch out. But he will no longer receive damage from his uh, power blast. Now Greedo stuns Luke out of block for two seconds when shooting him with slow targeting. Now, now on to Boba Fett got a increased flamethrower damage against Chewbacca from 50%. And here are changes for the weapons and star cards. The Sonic Imploder, um, they fixed the Grenadier Hut contract for the Sonic Imploder and increased the blast radius from 2 to 4 meters and damage from 90 to 100. They also raised the, project the projectile speed from 800 to 1000 meters per second and increased the explosion, explosion damage from 5 to 10. They did fix a bug with the A180 so when you spawn in, you spawn with your regular star cards like your primary star cards and stuff like that but that bug is fixed. And there's a lot of game mode changes like bugs on walker assault, hero spawns, they changed the Y-Wing timers on the Rogue One Scarif maps. Now with uh, heroes versus villains, you will be rotating to maps a lot faster and they added a general, bu a general bug fixes, lighting fixes on the Rogue One Scarif maps. And that's all for the patch notes. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for, uh, thanks for coming. Subscribe if you guys are new. Help me get closer to 350 subscribers, guys. But anyway, thank you guys for coming. And yeah, bye, guys.